spondylolisthesis is, is a wear and tear condition that occurs in people as they get older. And unfortunately, as we get older, the joints in our spine become loose. And what ends up happening is that the bones in your spine don't get lined up, such that when you're walking, the bone moves back and forth. Patients with spondylolisthesis say that they have pain that goes from their back down the leg. And when they're up and walking, the pain from the back down the leg gets worse. You good? Yeah. Okay, that's right. You're okay? Yeah. Okay. So patient, patients with spondylolisthesis say that they have pain that goes from their back down the leg. And when they stand up and they walk, the pain gets worse. Oftentimes, patients with, with, patients with the spondylolisthesis will say that their pain gets better when they sit down. For patients who have a spondylolisthesis, we first try a course of physical therapy and anti-inflammatory medications. Because for the majority of people, that's all they need to get better. Unfortunately, there are some people who try physical therapy and some uh, NSAIDs, but their pain continues to persist. It's for those people that we recommend something called an epidural injection. An epidural injection is a cortisone shot that you deliver near the nerves to help reduce the inflammation and relieve the pain. That often works for many patients, but unfortunately for some, they try medication, they try physical therapy, they try injections, and unfortunately the pain continues to persist. For those people, we recommend surgery. Now, what's interesting about, spinal sur about surgery for spondylolisthesis is that it's evolved tremendously. Here at the Spine and Performance Institute, we have pioneered a new way of performing surgery for spondylolisthesis, which we call awake spinal fusion. Awake spinal fusion is a novel protocol where we use a combination of sedation and local anesthesia, along with a small incision to fuse the spine. What's so different about this approach though is that by eliminating general anesthesia and by keeping the incision small, we're able to send the patients home the same day.